Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to talk about loops. How can we use for and while keywords using Kotlin? So, again, we'll start as usual with the main function. So, here it is, the main function. Now, to use while in Kotlin, it is similar, very similar like Java and other programming language. So, we'll start with creating a variable, for example, called x with that type integer and default value 0, for example, or um, let's change the default value to 1. Now, we can use the keyword while x less than or equal to 5. Then, Brentlen x and x plus plus. This means create a variable called x, then the loop will continue till the x equal 5. Nothing, print the value of x and increment the value of this variable. So let's try. Yes, as you see here, it will print from 1 till 5. So what about using 4 in Kotlin? About for it is something different from Java and the other programming language. So let's suppose that we are going to print from 1 to 10 using the keyword var. So you will write for x in and using the range 1 dot dot or double dot 10, which means the loop will start from 1 till 10. So if we write something like println x, the result will be from 1 to 10. What about if we need to print from 10 to 1 in the diverse way? So for y in 1 till, or sorry, from 10 down to 1, which means the loop will start from 10 and will be decreased till 1. So print len y let's try this example run yes it start from 1 till 10 these are the values of x then from 10 till 1 and those the values of y the last thing what about if we need to print increment by 2 for example 1 3 5 7 and so on Let's try this example for z in 1 to 10, which means the loop will start from 1 to 10. And we say something like step 2. Step 2 means the variable will start from 1, but the increment will be by 2, which means 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9. Let's try. Yes, let's see the last five values, 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9. So in this video, we have talked about how can we use while and for using the Kotlin programming language. See you next video.